The celebrations were underway long before the team arrived home. The pubs were packed and everyone was singing. Are you of Offaly descent? No, not at all. Just here on holidays. And what do you think of the celebrations here? Oh, it's great. These people are crazy. They're Some were watching the game being against. re-shown on video. Did you think at one stage Galway might win yesterday? Never. A, a, a heart transplant is what I'm after. <laughs> the excitement increased when the team arrived. It was a marvellous occasion, full of colour and good humour. Team captain Pat Flurry was the hero of the hour. There were 20,000 people packed into Tullamore and it took an hour for the team to make the short journey from the railway station to the GAA centre. Joachim Kelly and Jim Troy enjoyed every minute of it. The players celebrated with champagne, but it was a difficult time for the barmen. It's only Offaly's second All-Ireland title. Later there was another huge crowd waiting in the rain at the GAA centre. Team manager Dermot Healy referred to the great welcome they got last year after a heavy defeat in the final against Cork. We arrived in Tullamore and we told you on that night that we shed tears in there. Tears of sadness, tears of embarrassment. And when we came out here and saw the tremendous welcome you gave us, we said to ourselves, how could we let that support down again? And we made a pledge that night that we would have the McCarthy Cup here tonight, and we fulfilled that promise yesterday. The highlight for the fans was when centre-back Pat Delaney sang the Offaly Rover. Meanwhile, the defeated Galway hurlers got a great reception when they arrived in Air Square.